All right, uh, market coming uh, off its lows. In fact, now we're up, at least when it comes to the Dow. So maybe something Peter Tuckman said that we won't revisit the financial meltdown of 2008, 2009. Might have something to do with that, or it just might be the idea that a lot of these banks have been battered anyway, Deutsche particularly going into this morning, uh, that some comeback was warranted. But I do want to pursue this uh, with the former senator, former vice presidential candidate Joe Lieberman, what he makes of this concern about the banking industry and, and whether it's on a solid footing. Uh, Senator, always great having you. What do you think of that and where we go here? Uh, Peter Tuckman, uh, uh, you know, an iconic uh, Wall Street, had been there for many decades, says this does have a feeling of that, that it's not going away anytime soon. Does it worry you? Uh, thanks, Neil. Good to be with you. Uh, well, it sure does worry me. I think it worries a lot of other people. But I, I will tell you, uh, from my perspective, uh, it doesn't feel like 2008. I, I think we put a lot in place since then uh, to stop it from uh, really co uh, collapsing uh, our economy and the world economy. So uh, I, I think we're in very unsettled waters economically, and it's creating a lot of uh, anxiety among the American people, obviously. And unfortunately, that will affect their economic decisions. But uh, the federal government is, is uh, responding, uh, and the private sector is responding to, to uh, sort of protect uh, the banks in trouble and therefore protect the rest of the economy. So I think we're going to pull out of this without the damage that occurred in 2008. Well, I certainly hope you're right on that. I, I, I do worry, <laughs> though, too. when I hear a Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, and no, no offense to her, uh, she did give mixed signals as to uh, how far she would go to support depositors beyond what we've seen in some of these other banks where they, they made it limitless. In other words, the FDIC uh, ceiling that used to be $250,000 for individuals, half a million bucks for, for, for couples, uh, would be infinite. Um, now, I, I understand what she's trying to say here, that this isn't for everybody, but the fact that she hasn't said it, it, it won't be for everybody— um, that's added to the confusion. Do you think we should have limitless coverage? So uh, I, I agree with your point and your concern, Neil. Uh, obviously, at some point, you can't have limitless coverage for depositors. It's just It just costs too much money. But uh, that's something to take up on another day as a matter of yeah. long-term policy. Right now... The depositors, uh, which are not just individuals, but businesses, and the economy needs reassurance. And, and that's what I'd like to hear totally from um, Secretary Ellen and uh, anybody else in the government that, that has uh, uh, the power to, to get us out of this anxiety and insecurity and, and, and uh, in, uh, uh, moving up and down the economy and get us back on a road to growth. Right. All right, we'll watch closely. Sorry for the limited time, but always good seeing you, uh, Joe Lieberman.